Hi everybody, on today's video we're going to answer the question, what are the common causes of roof leaks? I'm Tracy Bookman, owner of Homestead Roofing, and welcome to another one of our walk in the park videos where we take just a few minutes to answer your questions about roof repairs and roof replacements and even the insurance claim process, stuff like that. And today we're gonna tackle that question, what are the common causes of roof leaks? Now keep in mind, there are several different types of roof covering materials. There's asphalt shingles, there's composite shingles, there's, uh, standing seam metal, there's agricultural panel metal, there's stone coated steel, tile, wood shake, uh, there's so many different actual uh, roof covering materials, but the basic cause of leaks is really going to come down to just a few different things and most of it is unrelated to the material at the top level of your roof. Primarily the areas that you're going to end up seeing leaks is going to be where uh, there are flashings and flashings are there the purpose of them is to prevent water from getting in to the roof at either penetrations or intersections so think of it like this so if you have a valley a valley is where you've got two roof slopes that meet coming down like this so where you've got two roof slopes meet where they're going up that's called a ridge but where the two roof slopes meet coming down, there's a line going right down the middle of that, that's a valley. Valleys are one of those historically bad areas for leaks. Sometimes if it's an open valley and if it's metal in there, that metal can rust and eventually corrode through, then there's either pin size holes or larger holes and water comes down through there. Even if it's a closed valley, meaning you can't see the valley material because shingles are covering it, there still can be issues if there's metal in there with rust and corrosion and things like that and water can still come down through there if it gets underneath the shingles. Another spot where leaks can enter in pretty easily is around pipe flashings. So you've typically got uh, pipes for your furnace vent and if you've got a gas fireplace, your gas fireplace chimney vent pipe oftentimes goes up and out the roof. Sometimes you'll have dryer vents or bath exhaust vents that those come out of the roof. And then you've got your sewer vents. And so if you go out and look at your roof, you'll see those PVC pipes that come up out of your roof. Oftentimes they're white, sometimes they're painted the same color as your shingle. And around each one of those penetrations, there's a flashing at the base of it. Now the sewer vent pipe flashings, in my opinion, are the worst because most of the time they're not metal. Uh, most of the time they're going to be just neoprene and in our, col our harsh Colorado environment, those break down really, really easy. We see that not infrequently on roofs where the neoprene is essentially degraded, coming apart, cracked, falling off, that kind of stuff. And so we've actually come up with a, a solution. We have found a better product to put on there. And you can get information about that product from us if you call our office. Another potential leak area is wall flashings. So you've got a head wall or an end wall, and that's where a vertical wall intersects a roof. So that's called head wall flashing or end wall flashing. And then you've got a side wall. So that's where a roof is running down the side of a wall. So we just had a situation where we worked on a house that had a valley that terminated at a wall and the roof slope above it came down right into the wall. So it wasn't an angled sidewall like you normally see. It was a level roof slope meeting a wall and so the water had nowhere to go. And so this valley terminated right at the top of that. And there was a hole that worked its way through the flashing and through the wood. And so this home was getting a ton of water into it. So it is a really good idea for you to have a, maybe an annual roof check, have a roofer get up on your roof, take a look at the flashings, make sure that they're still in good condition. It's also a good idea to have the roofer get up into your attic and check to see 
look at the, the underside of the wood up there to see if there's any leak stains, any evidence of water coming in at all. So those are going to be the primary areas on your roof that could potentially cause leaks. If you've got any questions about maybe whether or not you think you might have a leak or you know that you have a leak and you'd like it looked at or you've got other questions, please give us a call right up here at our office phone number 719-433-6991. You can also visit our website. That's right down here at homesteadroofingcolorado.com. We've got a ton of other information out there for you. Lots of other instructional videos that should help you. We'd also love it if you'd give us a big thumbs up. If you like this video, if you thought it was helpful, please share it with friends, family, other people. And if you would, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon up there so that way you get notified when we've got new videos. Until our next Walk in the Park video, I'm Tracy Bookman, owner of Homestead Roofing.